I'm Creative Crambo, back with another one. Yeah, so I've got a nice TV on the wall there, but them wires need to go. And what I'm going to show you is how to chase out the plaster and the brickwork. I'll make a channel up there like that and chop out the plaster, chop out the brickwork, get it back enough to um, hide those cables in there. And then what I'll do is replaster and re really sort of finish off the surface of that with a fine fill and then repaint as well. But I want to hide those cables up. They're looking a bit ugly there, just coming down there. Uh, one's the aerial and one's the electric. As you can see there. But really, when the telly goes back like that, I just don't want to be seeing those cables there. So I'm going to show you how to chase out and make good. Yeah, so just got the cables out of the way there now. Um, I've marked off where I'm going to be chasing up and I'll show you how I did that. Um, I'm going to be using this channel to cover the cables. So that's going to fit inside there like that. And all I did was put that up there like that. I just plumbed that down like that. Making sure it's nice and, nice and straight there, nice and plumb. Then I just marked off where I'm going to be cutting. Just like that, and then the other side as well. Down there. So that's the width I'm going to be uh, chasing out there. And that's the channel I'm going to be using to cover the wires. Um, I'll make it deep enough though so I can kind of get some plaster on there like uh, once that cover goes in I will still allow about 15 mil, 10 15 mil uh, for replastering as well and making good. So yeah, all ready to go there now uh, and ready to chase down, uh, cut down there, chase out and chop out. Yeah, I'm all ready now to uh, cut out now and chase out for this. Uh, these cables going into the wall and that's what I'm going to be using. Four inch grinder, I've got a sharp uh, cold chisel there, club hammer and a three inch bolster. So let's go for it.
Yeah, I should have enough uh, depth there now for the channel. I'll get that in there, put my wires like that, put the channel over that, and then I can make good. Yeah, so I've got the plastic channel in there over the cables. I've just managed to get a couple of nails in there into the bed joints just to hold it in place. And what I'm using there is a one core plastic. So what I'm going to do is just start from the bottom and then start filling that hole in. What I'll do is just let this dry. I'll give it a little bit of a rub down and then it's ready for, ready for painting. But by the time I'm finished with this job, you will not know the cables are in the wall. Yeah, looking pretty good already. Get that nice and flat. A bit at the top there. Lovely job. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry and then I can rub that down and give it a nice uh, same paint. Yeah, so I've plastered in there and made good uh, the chase out there uh, but and repainted, but not really happy with uh, the results there. There's, the plaster's sunken in. Um, I'll just rub my hand across there and I just feel like the plaster's sunken in about a mil. There's a tiny little crack going down there as well. So, uh, considering that, uh, the chase was about an inch deep, I mean, uh, that was pretty much expected as well, but I thought that might have been okay. Um, but closer inspection, after I've painted it, let it dry out, it's sunken in. So I need to fill this in again with some fine fill, get that nice and flat. And the stuff I'm going to be using is this stuff here. It's called Make Good uh, Jointing and Filling Ready Mixed Jointing, Filling and Finishing Compound. You can use that on a drywall and plasterboard. You can also use this on, uh, on wallpaper. And also you can use it over paint as well. Um, so that's ideal for a fine fill and that's what I'm going to be using. I just need to give that a fine fill now. Wasn't happy with the results uh, when it all dried out there. Plaster's drawn back a little bit. 
So what I'll do is give this a nice fine foam now. Give that a rub down and then give that another lick of paint. Then that should be perfect and flat. Yeah, so I've got the joint and compound there on the hawk and um, hopefully you can see everything there and see everything I'm doing there. All I'm going to do is fine fill this joint up. What I'm doing there as well is going across that joint there. So when I rub that down, it's all going to be nicely level, nice and flat. Hopefully you can see that there. I always try my best to um, get you the best uh, angles on the on the videos and stuff and the shots. But if I don't get it perfect, then I do apologise, but I always try my best. Just come from the bottom now up. All I'm going to do is just take off the worst of that. It's all going to rub down again, so it's all good. I'll just come down there now. Nice and flat there. Okay, nice bit of fine fold done there. What I'll do now is leave that for about an hour and a half, two hours. Then I can rub that down, get it all nice and flat, and then repaint. There's an old saying, uh, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing right. And so pleased I went with the, uh, the final fill there and just give that uh, two coats of paint now rub down the fine fill, two coats of paint and absolutely perfect now, nice and flat just going to let that dry out I will have another look at it um, when that is, that is dry but well pleased with that, it's looking good telly on the wall, want to hide your cables chase out Put some uh, a plastic channel in there over your cables, plaster the, the chase out, and then if you need a fine fill, all well and good. If you don't, even better. But that looks so much better now. More well pleased with that. Yeah, you can see me there in the TV with the camera. Um, all good. More well pleased with them results there now. That is a good job. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Turn on notifications. And I'll see you in the next one.